Our first question is coming from Jamie Hudson with NBC Sports Northwest. Mello, this was our first glimpse at Hassan and Nurk together. How would you assess how they played together in this in this scrimmage? Uh, I, I, I thought they was uh, they played well off of each other. Um, you know, I'm sure it was it was different for the both of them. Um, you know, having two traditional bigs out there, and you know those guys trying to figure out where they should be on the court. But for the most part, I thought they was they they communication was was at an all time high today. They communicated on things that they wanted to do that they wanted to see, uh, especially on the defensive end. They 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 was in sync. So um, you know, it's, it's it's the first time that that it happened that those guys was out there on the court together. And it, it's it's a positive for us, and I'm sure it's a positive for them to feel confident uh, with, with having each other out there. Next question is coming from Gary Washburn. With uh, uh, I think he's uh, he's there with you. Yeah, I know. I mean, <laughs> What's up, man? He's right here next to me. Um, the atmosphere, the fact you can hear yourself kind of thinking there, it's the different. free throws, the sight, like. How do you get your guys, being a veteran, kind of prepared for the fact you got to motivate yourself, like yeah. create your own energy the entire game? But well, that's that's what it is. We gotta you gotta be self motivated in, in this environment. I mean, you can you can hear everything. I mean, it, there's nothing that you can't hear. So, you know, that environment is is um, for me personally. I, I I actually love those type of environments um, because you really get to lock in and you really get to you know talk and communicate. But also it. it it emphasizes the communication out there on the court, right? It, it highlights that. If you're not talking, if you're not communicating with one another out there, then it's it's, it's obvious, it's blatant. So that I, I like it. You know, we're we adapting to it, we're adjusting to it. Next question is coming from Casey Holdall with Trailblazers.com. Carmelo, you talk about being able to hear the, the talk on the court amongst your teammates, but it, it sounded like there was quite a bit of trash talk at the uh, – the scrimmage today as well. So I'm, I'm wondering, do you feel like that's also an effect of, of it kind of not having the fans there and anything you could, uh, you could talk about in terms of the, uh, the competition versus the Raptors today, both uh, on the court and uh, maybe on the sidelines as well. Honestly, it's, it's a, it's a fun environment to be in. Um, and it, you know, it, it, it puts a lot of pressure on, you know, guys who may not like those type of environments when you, when you play in front of fans, and we miss the fans, but when you're playing in front of fans, you know, that noise kind of drowns out a lot of the trash talking that's, that goes on out there on the court, and even even from the benches. Um, but out here in this environment, it's heightened. You hear everything uh, from any, from anybody, from everybody, whether it's coaches, whether it's players, uh, play calling, you, you, you know, you, you got to be sharp, you got to execute because everybody is going to hear uh, exactly what, what plays are being called. So it's the little things that you got to give your, your team the edge when it, when it comes to winning in this type of environment. So it sounds like maybe some of the stuff a guy would send to his breath maybe before now you're you're maybe picking up some of that stuff. Well, they were saying it under the you know they were saying it out loud before you just couldn't hear them because of the fans. <laughs> so now you know the, the fans is you know they they're eliminated from this from this environment being in here. So it is what it is. Thanks, Melo. Thank you. We done. Uh, you got uh, another know. question coming from Mark Bedino at USA Today. Uh, I hear him all. Um, hey, right here next to me. Right here next to you. Um, I was wondering, Chris was say, Chris Paul was saying there was talks planned with Michelle Obama. Were you part of that, and what what came out of that? No, nah, I, I missed it. We was on our way here. I, I think it was today at like four. four okay. PM, so we we kind of missed that call. Um, but we we need more of those conversations. Yeah. You know, for for Michelle to get on the phone and you know, emphasize the importance of, you know, what it means to vote and, and you know, how, how you know, into her, she's, you know, she's into voting. So we, we support her on 1,000%. Well, in your case, I mean, you've been doing a lot of good work, but given the season here on the platform, how, how are you planning to use this? Uh, I'm already doing it. I'm already using my platform. So yeah. only thing I can do is continue doing that, using my voice, uh, you know, keeping those, those conversations alive, and you know, we we go from there. Well, we we're not going to be quiet. I can I can tell you that though. We, we're going to continue bringing awareness to you know the issues that that we all face and that, that's at hand. And that's first and foremost. It's basketball. It's just something that we do. Do you, do you have a protest plan for the first game? Or? No, I don't. Not me personally. No, uh, that's not something I've, I've thought about.
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.